slash Dayton back in a back with another metal detecting adventure here and uh it's it's fall yeah and uh man it's uh metal detecting season just about wrapped up this time of the year we got too much left to go here but uh check this out I haven't walked up to it yet but I'm in this woods over by I don't know on the other side of the high school and stuff I'll buy the school so on the other side here but uh, I'm in the woods and uh you know, homeless site out here I don't know if I dare go up there but uh there's something up there a tent but uh I don't know if anybody's over there or not <laughs> but uh you know that's what I was thinking about coming in the woods you see a lot of homeless sites or just it could have been just somebody camping out here and just left their tent behind but most likely it's a homeless person I'm not sure if he's over there or not it really doesn't look like it's been occupied in a while but anyway I come through here and uh, I didn't really expect to find much because I'm really close to the city but you never know and uh, check this out man I was metal detecting over here and got a hit I knew it was a nickel but I'm like man that's probably a modern nickel and it wasn't though but you got a I don't know if we can zoom in on a date there, but 1902 V nickel, barber nickel. That's kind of cool. A lot of green patina on it. I'll clean it up a little bit when I get home, but hey, barber nickel. It's old, 1902. Hoping to find some silver out here. I don't know. Pretty close to a road too down over there, but uh, but. Uh, if I find anything else, I will record it. But, uh, man, it's gonna be a long winter. I'm not looking forward to winter at all. I'm gonna miss metal detecting. Slash Dayton, back again. What's up, everybody? Hey, nice, beautiful fall day. And, uh, I've come back from finding that V nickel. And, uh, I come to. Like I said, I'll back at the high school. That's the high school like right over there. And then uh, I'll back there somewhere. My camera's not really being good to me today. Time for another camera. But I was coming through here, so I figured I'd uh, I know, just come to the park and do a little detecting over here. Even though I've hunted here many times, but man, I still seem to find some cool things here. But I'm over here on the other side, baseball field. battery power but um it's always something but man i swing my coil over here and i'm finding a lot of clad changing look what i got oh man I definitely a ring there yeah i haven't even really looked at it to see if it's good oh yeah oh it's a silver one definitely silver i don't even have to Fine markings, I can tell just by looking at it. Look at that beauty, huh? And it looks like a men's ring, too. Oh, man. Look at that. Fresh out of the soil. Oh, it's heavy, too. Oh, I guarantee you, this is a silver one. There it is. 925. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. It's right there. Oh yeah, that's nice. I'll be wearing that one if it fits me. I'm sure it does. Oh yeah. Lovely. Isn't that sweet? Oh man. I love finding rings, but you know what? I haven't found my gold ring yet. I haven't found gold ring since this park way over there. Somewhere in that field, I found two gold rings on Christmas Day. So it's been almost a year since I found gold, but man, I'll take the silver any day. Too. Ain't that sweet? That's heavy. That's awesome. What a nice find. You know, I was just thinking when I was walking through here, I'm like, come on, this is a baseball field. As if nobody's dropped a ring in this place. And bam, within a few minutes, I found a ring. I said, like, come on, man, I want a ring today. My prayers were answered. Sweet. Man, I like that. I'm going to clean it up when I get home. Man, I'll be back again.
slash Dayton. Hey, back again. And uh, I'm over here this morning in a park. It's pretty cool. I just saw a couple balloons go by. I'll put a picture at the end of the vid of the balloons. But uh, I come over here and, geez, not even like my fourth or fifth target. I get silver in the whole baby. 1944 war nickel. Yay. It was deep, too. That thing was like <clears throat> six inches or more, man. It was like right there in a the plug, actually. No, it was deeper than a plug. I had to dig more to get to it. It's pretty deep. Probably eight inches, almost ten. Awesome. Silver in a pot, baby. Slash Dayton back again. Hey, uh, geez, right before uh, dark here, I figured I'd come out to the local park uh, right after work here. And, uh, geez, the full moon back there. I don't know if you can see it right above the, the mills over there. Full moon coming up. But, uh, yeah, I'm like in the city. I'm at this park, and uh, usually they uh, have a balloon festival here so I thought I'd check it out see if anybody dropped anything it's a nice big view out here sun's going down over there towards the west and uh but uh this is uh getting kind of dark here so I'm about ready to just call it an afternoon here there's an old mills over there but uh that's uh, actually a Martin's warehouse now for Martin's stores. And uh, the river is right down over there in Scoggin River. But anyway, I thought I'd come through here and uh, see if I can hopefully pick up some gold. Because, man, I haven't found gold since Christmas Day. So I figured I'd try to find some rings out here. And I found a, looks like a rosy. Oh, jeez, can't see it because it's dark, but... Yeah, 1941 or 47, rosy. Now it's dark, I can barely see. But it's silver. On a silver dime in the park. But it's getting dark, so I might as well give up my filming here. So I'm done. I'm done for the day. But tomorrow, I'm going to my uh, old house site. That I found some silver there and a foreign coin, so I'm going back there tomorrow. So. But I thought I'd do a little, little detecting before dark, and hey, I pulled out a silver, rosy. Nothing wrong with that.